cold and mostly cloudy afternoon here in South Texas. But hey, roads are dry. I've got breath in my lungs. I'm out on the bike. It's a lunchtime, so I get about an hour and a half planned. Let's get it. What's this? Blue sky? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this in days. I'll take it. So I literally haven't been on a bicycle outside now for about four days, five days maybe. I think last Saturday was the last time I rode. My goodness, we've just been having so much rain. It's been so cold, at least for Texas standards, like I said. It's been probably slightly above freezing. And I know north parts of Texas got a lot of ice. Some people are still without power, but man, the sun's finally coming out. It feels so nice. I'm so glad to be back on the bike. When I left the house about 45 minutes ago, man, the sun wasn't even out. It was still cloudy, and I know the weather forecasters were saying it was supposed to get sunny, but hey, I'll take this. So one thing I've found super helpful about riding bikes here, at least in this part of Texas, where the temperature can really vary from freezing in the morning, you know, just above freezing to, you know, by the time you get to lunchtime or even the afternoon here in the winter, man, I mean, somewhere in the, in the 50s or maybe even in the 60s. So layers, super, super helpful. So I've got a wind vest or kind of this uh, wind jacket on and underneath I've just got my jersey and then a base layer and, you know, obviously gloves. You can take them in and out of your pockets and makes it so much easier. Dress in layers. I think one of the most important things about riding a bicycle, especially in the wintertime, is comfort. If you're comfortable, you can keep riding. And so layers, super, super key to having a comfortable experience on the bike, at least in this part of Texas in the winter. And with that said, I gotta take my gloves off and unzip my jacket because, man, it's warmed up. It is absolutely beautiful now. So point number one was layers to keep your core warm. Point number two, heard this from my bike fitter and it makes a lot of sense and I've definitely experienced it. If you're gonna warm your arms, make sure your legs stay warm too. Keep those muscles warm, first for the ability to continue to produce power and then of course for comfort. Way better when you're warmer. Tip number three, don't neglect your toes. Start with a good pair of wool socks. They're good at moisture wicking and they're good at holding in the heat, especially when it's cold. And then get your hands on some toe covers. I know some people like full shoe covers. I suppose if you're from the UK or from places where it just rains all the time, it's helpful to keep kind of the road grit and grime off of your shoes and away from your socks. But here in Texas, toe covers. Look at this. The clouds are retreating. The sun is shining. Oh, what a day to be on the bike. You know, I look at all these fields and all these trees and inevitably what always comes back to my mind is the reminder that things aren't going to be this way forever. They're beautiful, but they're broken. Things weren't meant to be this way. Things just break down and return back to the dust from which God made it, but that's not how it's going to be forever. God's made a promise. He's going to restore everything, the heavens and the earth, back to the way that it was in the beginning, that's where this is going. And I think about it and just, man, I say, Lord, thank you. You're, you're gonna change it all. It's all gonna be new one day. What I hope, 
but a promise. Man, you can tell we've had a lot of rain. Fields are flooded. Gullies here on the sides of the roads are still got water in them. It's good because Texas come a few months from now, it's gonna be like sunny for weeks on end. Lord help us. <laughs> Tip number four, this one kind of goes without saying, a good pair of gloves. You definitely want something that's got the ability to hold in the heat, but not sop up so much moisture that your hands just stay soaked. So stay away from just kind of normal cotton gloves or something. I think these are like a neoprene kind of thing. I think they're just runners gloves, but hey, they work for the bike too. Something else that's super helpful about these gloves too is the fingers. It's got that capacitive touch sensitivity thing in it to allow you to still use your touch screen on your phone or your head unit while you're wearing the gloves. Look for a pair of gloves that has that. Tip number five, this guy right here, the humble neck buff. Not only can it be super fashionable, like with these chocolate chip cookies, can match it with your bike, match it with your helmet, match it with your kit, but it's just gonna keep your neck super warm, keep your throat warm, keep the air coming in warmer. Definitely advisable in temperatures like this. Times two, I find it helpful if I can, you know, pull it up and pull it down like that just to kind of keep things a little bit warmer, keep the chin warmer at times if it's the wind's really blowing, especially if there's no sun, just keeps everything feeling a lot warmer and makes your ride so much better. So I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below. I know there's lots of videos like this on YouTube, but I wanna hear from you. What's the piece of winter kit that you go to that maybe I haven't thought of or others should think of as well? Leave a comment. And if this has been helpful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.